last couple outings I've been hitting the small streams, blue lining it, brook trout fishing, whatever you want to call it. But basically I'm out for native wild brook trout char. Big trout on the Farmington and other rivers are great, but I'll always love those native little brookies. They're so colorful and beautiful. So mainly just out for a change of pace, hit some natives, hit some hiking, smaller streams, and hit little pools. But also the weather's been crazy the last couple weeks here in New England. Lots of rain off and on. The days have basically been bright sunshine, downpours, bright sunshine, rain, bright sunshine, wind. So it's been all over the place, but it's affected the river a little bit. Flows have been up and down. The water was stained the other night. Now it changes quickly around here, being a tailwater. Once the streams and runoff kind of went through the river, there also I think was a dam release, so the flows went up a little bit. Two days ago, it was stained and almost chocolate brown. Last night, the river looked a little cleaner. Today, it looks actually pretty good, but I'm still out doing the small stream thing. I'm gonna try and grab a couple more natives. a good one. Found this really nice run right here. Starting to thunder, a little bit of rain coming down. I'm gonna try and hit it real quick. And here comes the rain. Small streaming it, blue lining it, a little bit different than the bigger rivers. You've got to be a little bit more careful in your approach so you don't spook the fish. It's just smaller and more delicate. But really break down the water in the same way. Look for ripple headwater coming into a feeding lane into a pool. That's the way to do it generally. So right here, I'll walk you through just a quick example. If I look at this run right here, I've got this rock almost acting like a dam at the tail of what I'm gonna call this run. Here's the tail of the pool, and the main pool is right here. It's the deepest section right here. Up at the head here, we can see the riffle and the feeding line going or going down the opposite bank here. That's where I would tar that's where I would target this time of year. They're right in at the head of those runs. That's where I'm pulling most of them out of. You'll still pull them out of the pool. You'll still pull them out of the tail. But the head riffle of the run, that's where you're going to get most of them this time of year. And a lot of the time. So breaking it down once again. you got the head of the run with the riffle there. Coming into a feeding lane. You can see the little bit of white water. Bubbles, air bubbles. That's the feeding lane. They'll be all in there. Deeper part of the pool here. Tail end of it here. And then you can go downstream and you can break it down again. Blue lining, looking for natives, can be a heck of a lot of fun. Plus they're gorgeous. There it is.
There's a good one. Oh, that's a nice native. There's a fishy, a beautiful little brookie. Beautiful little native.